Del and Aaron. Hello. From Inky Quill. Explosions. <laughs> all the things are excited. All the things are excited and happening and all sorts of things. <laughs> Hi. Hello. We thought today that um, I just, we've had a busy week. I've had a very busy very, creative week. Yeah, I've had a busy month. Yeah, you have. So I thought um, I would show you a little haul of some things that I bought, but they're for us. So, hence yes. why I'm here. So I went to a scrapbooking retreat. Um, it was Bev and Nat's scrapbooking retreat, and it was on the Central Coast ish. Is, is that that's yeah, Central that's Coast? Still yeah, Central Coast. Um, Central Coast of New South Wales in Australia. And I love Bev and Nat. They do great retreats. And Peter was there with the SFS shop. So she has a shop called Scrapbooking from Scratch. I'll put the link down below for her store. Um, oh, that's the link. Is it? <laughs> And um, I thought I'd show you some of the goodies that I bought. So the thing that I love about Peter's shop is that she has a ton of mixed media stuff. And I hate buying paints online because I've had bad experience buying them online and then um, having them arrive from America in various states of explosion and explosion <laughs> but Australian Post it's not an issue because it doesn't take as long to get here so um, she has a whole range of mixed media stuff and some things that you can use in your scrapbooking as well so yes let's get crack lacking okay I'll show the first thing can I start yep all right so I had put in my specific order with Adele <laughs> I wanted to get one of these awesome dilutions uh, what size is this? A5? A5. A5, okay, yeah. I always think like the B6, you know, like the exercise yeah. book size ones. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, um, so this is an awesome, uh, what do they call it? A creative, creative journal. Creative journal. Uh, which is really cool. I love that it has this just elastic thing that you can flick back and forth, yeah. keep everything inside. Really nice little envelope for... Uh, shenanigans bits, bits and, and then uh it's got nice thick just <laughs> just plain <laughs> paper nice and thick for mixed media and, and sketching it's stitched bound oh yes yeah and there's also uh a bit of space in there for like pens and pencils and whatever else I of that. yeah so yeah. they hook onto there so even when they hook in it doesn't they're pick up flush. The so smart. Yeah. I never knew that's what it was for. But they're nice. by um, Diane Reevely for, for Ranger. So I got two small ones. I bought Peter out. <laughs> <laughs> but someone had been in before me and bought a whole heap of them. So I bought the last three. So I bought Aaron a small three. one. I bought Aaron a small one. I bought a spare small one. Um, and then I bought myself the big A5 one. A one. A uh, big A4 one. And I've already done... I did a few pages. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Oh. And I didn't bring my fix book with me, which is why. <laughs> There's paper in there. I did this one. Ooh, mm, look at shiny. the shine. Shiny. Shiny. Um, and I did some of my other one as well. But yeah, so I really like these albums. Sometimes you do have issues with bleed through, so I usually put some, if I'm going to use wet media, um, I put some masking tape down the spine. That's good to know, because I'll probably be doing some watercolour in mine. Yeah. Yeah, so because if it goes in, because it's stitched, if it goes into the crease, it curls around. <laughs> Wet twits. Anyway. Anyway, um, I also love the range of stencils that Peter has at SFS. So I always save my stencil shopping for when I'm there because she has like every freaking brand under the sun. <laughs> so I got a ton. Um, the first ones are from a dear friend that I've met over the weekend. Um, hi, Anita. Um, so this is by Flutterby Designs. Now I've used them, so they're out of the packaging. <laughs> but this one, oh yeah, you can see it that way. Yeah. This one is a nice, nice arrow design. It's very thick, super thick. So these are by Flutterby Designs. I'll put the links for um, Anita down in the description below. She's an Aussie. Oh, gal. she actually designed them. Oh, yeah. So I thought you meant you like bought them for her or no, 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 or... no, no, oh, no. Right. And Anita was there. Cool. So that was cool. She yeah, did right. some demos using them. Oh, that's fun. sick. 
great demos, neats, great demos. And I've got this one, which is words. And it's dirty because <laughs> I haven't cleaned it properly. They're not um, just dirty words. It's actually no, messy. No, it's, it's, it's got white paint all over it. Um, so I bought those from Fly By Designs. And then I got this one from the Crafters Workshop. This one's pretty cool. That's some nice music notes. I thought Aaron might like that one. Mm. Mm -hmm. I got, I've had my eyes on these for a while. They're the Tim Holtz mini collection stencils and the thing I like about this is quite often I don't want to cover a whole page with stenciling I only want to do a tiny bit exactly. so instead of buying one a big one for 750 I can get three for 1350 oh, which nice. is better yeah, yeah. so this one stars like a wood grain and a chevron and you can always like double it up as well yeah you? yeah exactly make a big one um, this one, the packet's gone MIA, but it's some numbers. <laughs> <laughs> some kind of reminds me of like bubble wrap. What are they? Oh, type, bubble wrap, okay. Bubble wrap type yeah. thing. And then um, a hound's tooth. So I've got those in one pack. And then this one, which is like a chicken wire, an alphabet, and some mini dots. I've got those ones. I also did get some big Tim Holtz ones because they were just too pretty and I really <laughs> wanted them. This is called Plus. And it's kind of like a slightly distressed plus sign or an X, depending on how you use it. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Flexibility there. <laughs> this one's called Clockwork. That one looks really cool. Yeah. I'll probably use that one a bit. Yeah. Gail bought this one. Hi, Gail. Hi, Michelle. Gail bought this one, but she realized she'd already had it, so I bought it off her. Oh, so it worked out okay. really well. Nice. Um, this one's called Splatters. Splatters. Yeah. I thought Aaron liked that, the like the coffee the rings. The coffee rings. Yep. Although I'll probably be making some going coffee rings. <laughs> <laughs> All natural ones myself. Um this one's also dirty because I've used it and it's by Dina Wakeley and it's called Hounds? No. It's just it's it's just, just a stencil. It's just a stencil with some <laughs> circles. You could do it I did it like diagonally in my book and I'm also going oh, to try yeah, and do one where half of it is red. gold. Oh. Red. red and white. Pokeballs. Pokemon. Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon. You can use it for Pokemon balls. <laughs> I got this one for Aaron and it's from Prima That's and really it's called... Why don't they have names? Cogs. It's not called Cog. Oh, here they are. Oh, here you go. It's called Mechanica. And they're like gear type things because Aaron's a bit of a fan of the steampunk. Sure. Yeah. Um, also got this one for us to share, and it's from Donna Downey Studios, and it is called. It says it on the top. Number repetitive. Ah. Oh. Numbers repetitive. As Numbers well. repetitive. It's a larger one. And it's, it looks kind of distressed too, which is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is quite distressed. And then this is joint one, um, and it's from the Crafters Workshop. It's called by Bolzer Designs, and it is called. Oh, we know they have names. <laughs> Believe script. And it's some nice scripty font. Do you know what it says? Yeah, you can read some of it. You are unique at, at individual. individual. How magical is that? You are unique at individual, full stop. Yeah, <laughs> okay. No, oh, fair enough. It's just random words, basically. It's just random words. Okay. I thought I thought it'd be nice for some background. <laughs> so they have the stencils, yes. and then um, are they little stencils? No, they're stamps. These are stamps. Let's do the stamps. Got a tower of yep. supplies. In <laughs> a <front> very <laughs> precarious tower. <laughs> do, you to, do you want to go through the? Sure, stampies? I'll have a few of these. Why not? So this one's pretty cool. It is a. What is it? What's it say? Eclectic stamp. Eclectic? Is that how you yeah, pronounce it? Yeah, by Darkroom Door. And it's called the Cog Collection. So that's pretty sweet. It's all mm. the cogs there and it's uh, one of the rubber stamps. traditional rubber stamps. So you can attach this to an acrylic block. But what I like to do with these ones is because I don't want a perfect image in my background art journaling, I just use my hands and then slap it on. So I don't even use an acrylic block <laughs> with these little ones. Nice. And then this is more... Uh, it's a clear stamp. By Prima. Prima Finibear. 
Yep, sure. By those guys. <laughs> and it's little words and stuff. It's like out of a newspaper. More little words. Oh, yeah, because it's very... Newspaper-y. <laughs> newspaper script. It's kind of that old-timey newspaper script. Yeah. It's in another language. Yeah, probably. Da capo im salon. Looks like... It looks like German, German or... Italian, maybe? Salut, the the top bit looks like it's in German and then the das bottom bit looks like it's in Italian. Volge Handen. Super weird. Don't know anyway, what I'm saying. So the next Primo one we have, the Finnebear, is that the one? Yeah. Collection, whatever? Yeah. Is uh, Music Notes, Miniature Music Notes. So that's really cool. I'll we'll probably use that a bit in mind. And the price right? on these Prima stamps is really good. Yes. Yes. Is this one like bubbles or something? I don't know what you. I would. I would call it bubbles. It kind of looks like bubbles, like yeah. soap bubbles. Yeah. So Prima again, in this. Uh, yeah, bubbles. I guess. Don't know. But it says also available other bubbles. Sorry, on the back. So maybe <laughs> it's not bubbles. Maybe it's a clear stamp. Thank you, Prima, for telling us what this is. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I don't know what this one is. <laughs> It's some sort of bubbly contraption. It's not bubbles, though. It's something different. But they look like bubbles. They look like bubbles. Anyway. And moving along to more Dark Door texture stamps. We've got this awesome distressed circles. It kind of looks like bubble wrap. It, yeah, it does a bit. Yeah. yeah. And that's another rubber stamp. Are these all rubber stamps? These dark ones, I think? That one is, yeah. Is this another dark or no, is it... No, it's called Red, red Lead, lead paperworks. paperworks. Or it could be Red Lead Paperworks. Mm. Not sure. English. You're going to love it. English is hard. So, these are more cool strips. Look like washi tapes. Yeah, they do a bit. So more script and then spots. I was going to call that stripes then. Because I saw this, the tape and whatnot up the top. It confused my brain. <laughs> Which is easy to do. Then, oh! Snap. Thank you. <laughs> um, and then more stamps. Two left. We've got a Bloom Prima. Collection. Prima. It looks like Prima. It's got it's their the little rose yeah. thing. Prima. Uh, it's a Chevron or... Is that what that's called? Chevron or... Uh, zigzag. Zigzags. Whatever. Chevron's different. Chevron's like, um, I've had a mind blank. Chevron. Yeah, zigzag. Anyway. Wow! <laughs> I dropped it. <laughs> and this then is my favourite. This is a really cool running script, which looks like it's been used. It has been. <laughs> <laughs> so it's another old school. But that's cool how it's like... Yeah, it's not a perfect square. It's not like square. a perfect square. It's yeah. actually been cut out to the shape of the script. Yeah, so, so it's that's like really indigo cool. blue. Indigo blue. And if you have a if you can't find any of these on the SFS website, I'm sure if you um, emailed Peter and said, Hey. Hey. Inky got this. Sort of thing. Sort of thing. Want this. <laughs> Alright, what should we do next? There's so many things that I got. Well, the rest of them, I don't really know what they are. So okay. Well, funny. let's see if you can explain. No, no, no thank you. <laughs> got some washi. I know what washi is. Yeah. It's super thick washi. Yeah, that's why I got it. Yeah, that's cool. And so is it just like all different postage things? Yeah, or? it looks like it looks like cream postage with black, and they've done black over the top in the shape of um, spots. It's nice. Almost that almost, one. Almost. I like it. Um, I got, I think I accidentally got two of them, <laughs> but <laughs> that's all right because I can share one with you. What are they called? Water daubers? They're Pentel Aqua Brush. And what it is, what if you're you not quite for? sure, is you fill the, this part with water, and then when you squeeze it, the water comes out the brush. Through the bit. brush? Yeah. So is so, this where you would do your watering on a page first and then you do your watercolours on it? Yeah, you can do it like that. Yeah, cool. Or you can use it for watercolours. Oh, okay. So you get your palette of watercolours and instead of having to dip your paint in water, oh, right. dip, your dip your paint your brush, brush in, in water, water, you, you actually can just use go like, this as your brush. Yeah. Oh, that's Good cool. for splatters. Nice. Do you ever fill it with like paint? Yes, you can fill it with paint. Or you ink can fill it with ink. You can use it for scripty font, so these are really good. And I've tried, I tried another brand. 
I forget what it was and um, I didn't have great luck with it but this Pentel brand I'm finding is really I've already got one but I wanted another one and I got um, a, a, oh that's why I got two I got a large nib and, oh, a, and fine a fine nib, nib. Ah. I'm going to have to Mark put it some nail polish there, maybe on there yeah. to know which one's which but that's why I got these because I think I have the middle one Oh, but it's all right. often not big enough and it's often not, not fine, enough. fine enough. So, Fair why enough. not? There you go. Then, um, this packet didn't look like this before. <laughs> <laughs> I have used it and my other ones in my stash. But I got the Dilutions paint pen. So, this is the same peeps that do the art journal, Diane Reevely. And um, I, I have really bad luck with paint pens. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, so the Posca paint pens are, are lovely, but I seem to break them every time. How do you break them? Because I'm impatient, and I don't wait for my paint to dry all the way, and I use them. Oh, and then it gets and all then it funky. Gets all yucky. Oh, okay. But these ones, I have to say, are better. I'm, <laughs> I'm fine. Better for impatient better people. Better for impatient people. <laughs> uh, they don't have as, I don't know, like absorbent a tip. Okay. Um, but yeah, you got a black and a white, and I've used the black. I haven't used the white yet, so I'll give you. A lot of people have been asking about my white pens, so I might do a white pen comparison comparison thing. So let me know in the comments below if you'd like a white pen comparison because I haven't tried this one yet, and I'll be interested. to Maybe see Maybe a it is. up close and personal. Ooh, up close and personal on my new series. Mm, Showing that out there. Yeah. Um, I got some mini ink blending foam pads because I've been needing these. I bought two of the, if you don't know what these are, they're just little bits of foam. And they attach to like a handle thing. Um, they're by Ranger. And you can use them for spreading paint. You can use them for spreading ink. They're great for using through a stencil. And I only had two of the foam pads before and you can interchange them. How did you only have two? Because I bought the packet that had the handles. Oh, the handles. Oh, actually, I had more than two. Up. Two of them got ruined. The truth comes out. Two of them got ruined. So I had four. For saying. But now I have two. <laughs> but now I've got a million. So I can use them for different colours. Because I didn't want to use my white one with anything. Because it would not get not white anymore. And yeah. I didn't want to use my black one with anything. Because then the black would go everywhere. So, yay for that. All the colours. Also got a brayer. I've been wanting a brayer for a while. Um because a brayer is like a rolly thing and you can use it with your jelly plate and I have a jelly plate and I tried the jelly plate without my brayer and it worked but not as good as what I've seen other people use with the brayer so stay tuned head over to my let's get inky channel um, and you'll see some me using this in the near future maybe in up close and personal mm. Okay. Cross channel series. Oh, oh okay. So tricky. Yeah, um, what else have we got? Let's go. Sleeves. Sleeves. Got some six by twelve sleeves for my Project Life album. Now this was what confused me. So on the back, there's a giant picture of thickers, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Where are the thickers? <laughs> they forgot. They just gave you all of these containers and no thickers." Well, actually, these plastic sleeves are not specifically designed for scrapbook layouts. So, like layouts? They're used to store your thickers. But they're absolutely identical to the 6x12 uh, Project Life ones. Ah, uh, interesting. And they're so much easier to get. And they're cheaper. Uh, but they're the exact same thing. They only, they just have... interesting. I know, I know. Um, that has thickers on it, but that's the only difference. So I use them instead. Is there more in a packet? Um, no, there's ten. There's probably ten the other ones. Okay. But like I got these for five fifty, and I have paid ten dollars for the Project Life ones before. Damn. Yeah. Okay. So if you're looking, so like half price. Yeah. A lot of people have asked where to get these from. I find mine usually at Spotlight in the six by tw in with the thickers. So they're not with the page projectors, they're with the thickers. So have a look next time you're at your craft shop. Some paints. An unexpected choice, Aaron. <laughs> An unexpected choice yes, here. very. Do you want to show them? Sure. You're talking about this Wait. One, right? Uh, oh. Pause the video, comment below, 
unexpected paint choice. What do you think it is? What do you think it is? Okay, show me. Personally, my guess would have been yellow. So if you guess yellow, I'm sorry, but that's not it. That's not yellow. No. But see, I have some yellows. Yeah, no, but they're usually more of like a goldy. I'm talking like a lemon yellow. Yeah. Which is not me. your colour. It's even more. Surprising. Yeah, even more than that. Fresh lime, honey, shine. That's it's what it is, shine. right? It's no? shine. Okay. Oh, it's ink spray. Okay, Dilution's Dilution. ink spray. Fresh lime. So if you're at all familiar with Adele, she's not a huge fan of green. <laughs> so this will be interesting. I'm guessing this is because of your orange page. I know, it opened up a whole new light. The other day. Yeah. Look, I'm not going to say I like green. I still don't <laughs> like green. But sometimes when I'm doing a blue page, blue and aqua page, I just need a bit of a lighter tone. Bit of a... Bit of a fresh lime spray. But reckon. I thought I'd challenge myself. Give it a go. Yeah, that's what not? I want you guys to do. Don't think that anything's impossible because it's not. Go challenge yourself. Go outside the comfort, comfort <laughs> zone sometimes. <laughs> yeah, go outside your comfort zone because this is like way out. It's like I'm here and like comfort it's zone. It's like way over here. No, it's somewhere. not even that. It's like, <laughs> it's like way off. Not even in frame. No, mm. not even. Then. I got some um, Dina Wakely heavy body acrylic paint in some different colours. Blushing. So this is acrylic paint, but it's a little bit thicker. A little bit, a little bit thicker, which mm -hmm. is nice. It's nice for when you're doing, um, like, you want a nice opaque layer of paint. It's not translucent. So, like, over a stencil, maybe? Or is that too much of a... Um, it might be a bit too wet. You could. You could. You could. I haven't tried it though. Could you mix it with something? Yeah. Oh, you can mix this with modeling paste. It goes really nice. Cool. Yeah. All right. But there's just some nice colors. I quite like this for doing backgrounds with. Um, so we've got blushing. Because she's Does just. It go a fair way? No, you need you need a little bit. You need yeah. a fair bit. Okay. Not like the dilutions. Um, yeah. Ruby. Dina's released some new colors. Um, I got two whites because I go through the white quite quickly. <laughs> two whites. Ocean. Fuchsia. And. Lapis. Lapis. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also, Dina, Dina's released some new dilution colours. Um, and I only got one of them. I got this one. It's called Cherry Pie. That's a nice, like, fuchsia colour. It'll go well with... Fuchsia. Fuchsia. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but they're very different consistencies. Oh, so right. this one's quite a thick... It's, it's much thicker. And then the Dilutions is very, um, thin. And you don't need much. This will last you forever. That's good though. This won't. So if you're if you're starting off, these I think are more flexible. A little bit better, more forgiving. Yeah, yeah. More forgiving and, and better, better value. Yeah. Yeah, as well. Then I got some Inca Gold, which is like it's textury paste. Um, so it's thicker and it's really shiny. So this is in Steel blue. Kind of reminds me of those. I'm not sure if people had this or if I'm just going to sound like a weird dude, but you used to be able to buy like slime and it looked like metallic <laughs> stuff and you could mold it a little bit yeah. like it was kind of putty. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. That's what they always remind me of because they came in a similar pot. Pot? Yeah. <laughs> um, my next purchase, I'm blaming completely on Anita from Flood by Designs. <laughs> Because she did a demo using the Color Blast, and I'd never heard of it. And I think you're all going to really like it. Now, it doesn't look like it is in the pot, so I am going to do a up close and personal on Let's Get Inky, my other YouTube channel, um, on what it looks like. But what it is, is it's glimmery texture based type of stuff. Right. So, Anita said the consistency is kind of in between gel medium which is thinner and a bit flowier 
and texture paste so it's not super super thick but it goes beautiful in stencils and it blends gorgeously so I only got four colors to start me off and they're very me colors and they do dry a different color than in here they dry darker I was gonna say it have to be a lot darker yeah, right because if, if you start with gold yeah that's and so okay so this one's called bling yeah. and it looks like tan tan yeah no. but it but it goes gold 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 gold, gold. Okay, right. and you can see like can you see that can you see that the, the... no you can't no you can't <laughs> um so i got bling i got envy which is like a teal color okay i got deep water which is a beautiful blue and lipstick so they're color blast and I know a couple of girls on the design team, so I'm going to be checking out their, their stuff yeah, right, for cool. some inspiration. Nice. And then finally, <laughs> I got us some tissue paper. So what are you, I've seen you use this before, but like what's the purpose of tissue paper? Tissue paper Any, uh, stuff? is great because it gives, it covers up background really quickly. And it looks like you've stamped it, but you don't have to stamp it. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, That's and you cool. can, and what you can do is you can put colour down, and then put the tissue paper over the top. And because the white, because it's white tissue paper, it goes like translucent. It goes translucent, so you can still see the colour. Right. right. Okay. That's yeah. cool. So this one's by Hazel and Ruby. Pass the tissue, and it's called Ephemera Collage, and it's like a newsprint with. Music, music notes. notes and stuff. Or maybe it's dictionary. I know it's it dictionary. Looks like dictionary, yeah. yeah. Dictionary with music notes. Then I got another roll of my fave, which I know a lot of people on Let's Get Inky have been asking about. Um, Tim Holtz tissue wrap, and it is. Why don't they do names bigger? I don't know what one this is. Ideology, maybe? No, that's, yeah. oh, that's, that's what that's called. Yeah. Anyway, it's Butterfly. Yeah. With music notes. Butterfly music and... And dictionary. Is it like botany stuff? Yeah, and like cool scripty font stuff and... Yeah, so there's that one. And then I found this new one, which I knew that Aaron would this love. This one looks really, really cool. And it's um, like postage and maps oh, and... Oh, I didn't see the map before. Yeah, That's cool. Really cool. So I got those. And that... Is my ginormous haul. It's probably enough, really. <laughs> <laughs> but look, in all defences, you're sharing this stuff with me now. Yeah, fair enough. So that means I need twice as much! <laughs> <laughs> of some very specific things. <laughs> Not I... just twice as much as everything. <laughs> anyway, if wow, half an hour. That's a long time. If yep. you made it this far, congratulations. <laughs> Speaking of congratulations. We had 10,000. So that's exciting. Very that exciting. is very exciting. Eee. We'll do it like a proper video yep. for it yep. later. Yeah. But yeah, very exciting. Maybe a bit of a... Bit of a giveaway. <clears throat> Bit of a giveaway. Ooh, <clears throat> giveaway, hey? Yeah. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching and please give this a like if you'd like to see more of this dude. And if you'd like to see more of me using these things, let me know this in the comments stuff. below if there's like a specific thing in my haul that you'd like to see me use. Um, and head over to my other channel, Let's Get Inky, to subscribe over there because I do my art journaling over there. I do my Fobonichi. I do plannering. Uh, yeah. Mixed media. Mixed media. Uh, some, some of it's on this channel now, though, isn't it? Mixed mm, media? No. No? Okay. Only in scrapbook layouts. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I might post this on both of them. Yeah, sure. So if you're already right. on Let's Get Inky, <laughs> head over to the other channel, <laughs> the Inky Quill. <laughs> and, yeah, we've got to go. We've got to go start making start some stuff, I think. Things. Yeah. yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. Right. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.